Good morning, everybody. I am a happy camper because it is in the 50s outside right now. <laughs> Which is amazing because we have had such a terribly hot summer. And this is, for us in Alabama, the first inkling of fall. <laughs> I can't wait to wear a hand-knitted sweater today, <laughs> or maybe a shawl. I mean, it's like old republic. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to the shop in about an hour and I'm getting dressed, deciding what sweater I'm going to wear today. This is just such a happy time of year. Um, I'm very tempted to wear my No Place Like Gnome sweater. I adore this sweater. I knit this last year, wasn't it, I think? Or maybe in January, something like that. It's a fingering weight all over color work sweater. So this would be nice and comfortable today. This is a little bit modified. If you go and look at the pattern, I did change out some of the charts, but this might be today's winner. I knew that was inevitable. <laughs> Ara was just playing outside in some hand-knit socks. They are so cute, but they are now a little bit too small for her, so I'm going to have to make her some more. She went through a long phase of ripping everything off of her feet, and now she's obsessed with socks and shoes. So if a mother ever needed a reason to knit, it is to make tiny, precious socks for her daughter. I have a matching pair with this yarn, but yep, they're a little bit too small now. They're nice and covered in leaves and they're damp from her running around, I say running, crawling around outside. So that's on my short list for knitting projects. My mom gifted me these little mushroom shelves or wall decorations. I have this one and one small, smaller one. So I can't decide if I want to put them up here with one of my pinned butterflies or here somewhere with this pressed flowers like acrylic cutting board she made. So, deciding on that. Hello, I'm about to drive to work. Don't worry, I'm parked right now. I would never film and drive, but as you can see, I chose to go with my gnome sweater today. Very exciting. And, oh, I have some gnome earrings on. My mom gave me these, so. Yay. Coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee. I should probably also drink and promote water. <laughs> 
drink your water, friends. Okay, it's Saturday at the yarn shop, so I now have the not so glamorous task of cleaning up for when the knitting group comes today. Yeah, there's um, scrap yarn and toys everywhere. Just pure chaos. Um, tortilla chips. Yep. Just everything everywhere. Lovely order I just received. Um, I think it came in last night or so. But I love this palette. The two on the left are Quince and Co. Um, the one on the far left is the Finch Base. The one in the middle is Chickadee. And then the one on the right is Paper Crane Yarns, my hand-dyed yarns on Merino DK. It's the love letter colorway, but anyway, I just adore the soft pink and brown color palette. I have to ship off my last skein of fairy tale pumpkins. I love this colorway. I hope I'll get to dye a little bit more before the autumn is over. Hey, I'm going to do something I haven't gotten to do in a while, and I'm going to spin my, oh, there's a yarn scrap <laughs> in here. My daughter's with my husband for a couple of hours this morning before she comes to the shop, and I'm going to spin in between having customers. So I've got this gorgeous fiber here. That was a close call. <laughs> I'm gonna move that candle, don't worry. But I have this gorgeous fiber from Wee Chickadee. I love the fiber that she dyes. This colorway is called Opalescent, and I've already spun half of it. This is about 2.2 ounces, I just weighed it. So I eyeballed it when I split it, so I was really close, it was a four ounce braid originally. So I have one bobbin of singles done here. This is actually the remaining singles from the first skein that I made. I originally had another braid of this. So I'm going to take this bobbin off of my wheel and put on a new bobbin and get started on these so that I can um, let it rest and then do a two ply again. So this is the first two ply skein that I made from the other braid that I had and I love it. Um, this is Coriadale since I didn't mention. Um, I kind of want to get more of this colorway from her at some point and try a true fractal spin. This was my first time um, or one of my first times actually making a skein of yarn and doing a ply. And I just went into it with sort of using intuition, um, but now I understand fractal spinning. I've done my research and um, I wanna try that next time, but I do love all of the colors in this one. I'm spinning today and we're talking about fiber a little bit. I'll show you guys some fiber I received yesterday. Um, I had a ton of reward points with Revolution Fibers because I bought my spinning wheel through them and they have a rewards program. So I had something like $40 in rewards, uh, redeemable rewards. And I also had through the shop app five or so dollars, which was enough to cover shipping. So I was able to get some fiber, little bumps, and this is only half of the order, the rest of it which are maybe five or so more. It's like their orange trial pack. Sorry, my tea kettle is heating up, so it's going to be noisy. <laughs> so the orange pack is still on its way, but I did receive these three gorgeous merinos. So these are incredibly soft. They're 100% merino wool. They Their micron count is 23. Um, this one is called amber. This one is fluorescent pink, obviously. <laughs> I think this one, this one's rust. And together, I think these colors are so gorgeous. So interestingly, this one feels a little bit lighter, just minorly so, so I just weighed it, and it is 0.9 ounces. These are meant to be one ounce little bumps, whereas these ones are both over a little bit. This one is the biggest one. Um, not that I care, but I just thought it was interesting that I could even tell one ounce 0.1 ounce different. <laughs> this one was pretty much spot on, 1.1 ounces. Hello, <laughs> before I forget. Ta-da! This is my gnome sweater. And let's see, I have on, oh my gosh. And I have on my strawberry toms. Strawberries on my sweater. I'm feeling really cute. <laughs> so 
So I'll have this pattern linked down below or maybe just my Ravelry page because I have notes on there of how I modified this. But um, yeah, one of my favorite sweaters. I wear this one a ton. Um, I'm so glad to wear it today. I feel like myself when I wear this sweater. <laughs> Does that sound silly? Um, like I feel like I have a couple of versions of myself and this is one of my favorite versions. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's my gnomes. The uh, yarn for this was my hand-dyed um, gnome collection that I did, I think about a year ago, to buy it. It's been sold out for a long time, but I might try to bring it back in the spring. I might do a revamp um, because I love that collection and I've, I've been planning on doing a second one, but right now in this year's schedule, I don't think I'll have time to do it before the year is over. Um, if I do find the time, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But I appreciate the love for the gnome collection. It's one of my favorite that I've ever done. Um, so that's what I used in the sweater. I used minis to um, knit this. And then the main color was a Knit Picks yarn. Um, part of me wants to make the sweater again. There's a couple of charts that I would like to modify once again. Like I want to do different strawberries. Um, yeah, a couple different things. Plus my main color, this yarn, it turns out that it pills like crazy. So I kind of want to maybe make this again in... I mean, any wool yarn is going to pill, don't get me wrong, but I kind of want to make it again in a yarn that maybe won't pill as quickly. So I don't know. But, um, but yeah, there's my sweet gnomes. Hi, <laughs> me again, talking to the camera. Um, so I just wanted to quickly talk about the Stephen West MCAL because I've been sharing my progress the past, the past few days and, um, Today, my video went up from yesterday showing my finished one. And yesterday, which was Friday, um, if you've been following along with like the MCAL and Stephen West and the whole situation, but long story short, Clue One was essentially redacted and reworked. And as far as I know, that, po that portion of the pattern has been removed. So if you purchase the pattern now, you won't receive the original Clue One. But if you, like me, purchased it before, you would have it. Um, but regarding the whole situation, I just want to say that I totally understand what's going on. And if you're not familiar, either, you know, if, if you, if this isn't related to you or pertaining to you, then please feel free to skip forward. But um, I just wanted to say, because I was sharing my version, um, I totally understand the situation and me keeping my version is not me not acknowledging the situation but again I are I've already spent eight and a half hours working on it and um, I shared a picture yesterday of a quilt by Susie quilts called adventure land quilt adventure land quilt and um, to me this design is just like a traditional quilt block or um, like a pinwheel, you know, there's, for me, from the beginning, my inspiration and the way that I was feeling about the way that it looks is like a beautiful quilt square. And I've been very into quilts. So, and I've been seeing a lot of trending quilty knitting patterns. So I'm, in my opinion, if I had to guess, I feel like that's where Stephen West's inspiration was coming from. But regardless, um, it's not me that has, you know, any kind of say so over how anybody else would feel um but as i'm leaving mine in i just want to acknowledge that i understand the situation um i don't think that mine looks like that with my color choices and i i really think it looks like a quilt square but i cannot afford the time to knit it all again um and i kind of suffered through <laughs> to knit that one my uh, anyway so yeah i just wanted to acknowledge that stretching and acknowledging my yarns. <laughs> I've already made a ton of progress. Oh, oh goodness. It looks like some of my leader is sticking out. I guess I'll just snip that. <laughs> but yeah, tons of progress already. Um, I just have this left of this little pre-drafted section I pulled and then those. <laughs> Hello everybody. So 
it's um it's been a couple hours since I turned on the camera at all but my knitting group just left my wonderful amazing knitted group today was a lot of fun um, but I just wanted to make sure that I kind of gave a little bit more of an input on the Stephen West MCAL just because yesterday's video you know I had spent all day knitting the rest of my clue one and so by the time it was the end of the day and I was editing the video I mean I had I had sat down to start editing before I ever even saw the update so obviously last night I felt a little bit of a pressure wanting to make sure that I quickly recorded some thoughts on the situation to add in to the video since that was what the rest of my video was about was me sharing that clue and um, yeah, I was already really tired last night and, um, I was obviously kind of in real time dealing with the situation and figuring out how to proceed, but I just want to make sure that I was very clear, um, that I completely support Stephen West's decision to modify the pattern. And I think it's amazing that he was able to really listen to and demonstrate respect and consideration for the people in the community who were impacted or who could have been. Um, I, com I completely understand. So I just want to make sure to specify that. The reason why I'm keeping my clue one as is, is because I personally think, and I've thankfully had some others reach out and tell me like they think so too, but my color choice thankfully does not depict that image. So unfortunately the sad thing is people within the community who are familiar with the pattern and the project are going to look at it and associate that because that's the situation we're in and that's the you know that's what we're dealing with so I'm a little sad because I feel like the project has been kind of tainted for me and if you've been watching you know following along then you probably know how much I love this project and the process so far I've really enjoyed it and now I'm sad looking at it because as much as I love it, I I feel this sense of like understanding that some people are going to look at it and probably think poorly of me. And that hurts because that is not reflective of who I am. And I hope that comes across. Um, but I simply find that, you know, this is for my personal use. And um, I just, I simply find it to be my version to be beautiful and not representative of that and again I've already knit the whole thing so I cannot redo it um, I mean I could but I think that would be a major waste for me as an individual and as I just don't think it'd be practical if I hadn't finished yet I would have redone it but anyway I hope you guys all understand where I'm coming from and you know it's not that I feel like I have to explain myself, but I just want to make sure that anybody watching this who would perhaps question would understand it's not because I don't care about the situation or I, I don't agree with the move to um, change things. I do. And so, you know, I'm not going to participate in the MCAL threads. I'm not going to share my photos. Um, I, I do find that if I bunch the fabric, obviously the image is completely lost and you just get the beautiful um, stitch definition and fuzziness of the Pearl Soho linen quill. So I know that I, I, I can share it with everybody in a different way, but um, I understand that people don't really want to look at it as it currently is. So, so I'll just have to kind of keep it to myself and that's okay. The knitting is for me anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys understand and that, you know, I, I appreciate like the only reason why I even feel like I need to say something is because even if my audience is very small, I know having an audience of any kind means something in terms of like making sure that you are demonstrating a respectful environment and platform. And for me, kindness and understanding are like the most <laughs> are the most important qualities. And so I wouldn't want to come across as though I don't. Um, offer offer those that's like my number one in all things I do that's what I strive to be is kind empathetic and understanding so I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from yep 
It's a tricky, it's a tricky one. It really is. In other news though, I feel really happy still to be wearing my sweater. <laughs> I'm preparing to wind up another skein of my Pearl Soho Tussock. This is in the, I think it's Golden Lichen. Yep, Golden Lichen colorway. It's absolutely beautiful. This is for my Agni cardigan by Petite Knit, the brioche cardigan I've been working on. And I'm about to finish up my first little ball, so time to uh, cake up another one. Hey guys, it's windy and probably a little bit noisy because I'm outside, but I got home from the shop a little while ago. I changed into a different sweater as you can see. I've got my coloring book raglan on. It's a pattern by Amy Schur. And I'm gonna sit outside and knit for a little while, but I've been feeling really sad about the MCAL thing. So I wanted to share one happy thing from today. This morning I had this lovely customer. She was so sweet. She was literally jumping for joy in the shop, which just made my heart really happy. That's all. Hello chickens. Pretty chickens. I love it when they look directly at the camera because they look so stern. They make me think of like, like they make me think that they're going to slap my wrist with a ruler or something. <laughs> We've had these chickens for a couple of years and we've gotten to know their personalities very, very much. And these are most definitely our companions and they like to be cuddled and held and they're just great companions, but they do always look very angry. <laughs> I give them all kinds of snacks, so they like me. I'm working on my Agni cardigan. I have one of my favorite stitch markers on here. This is from Simply Serving. It's a stack of pumpkins. And because it's Saturday and my work week is over, I have a stout. And I live in Alabama. And if you're unfamiliar with Alabama, we're a big sports state. I say weird. I'm not from here, but I've lived here long enough. We're a big sports ball state. <laughs> so everybody in my neighborhood is watching this like Alabama football game right now. So if you hear people yelling in the background, that's why. Hey 
Hey guys, it's pretty late. I'm coming to you from my bedroom tonight. It's dark outside. I'm uh, just wrapping up recording, recording, editing today's video. I never had a chance to sign off or say goodnight. Um, since I've been home, my husband and I had dinner together. Um, my daughter has actually been asleep since I left the shop. She didn't take a nap at all today, so she fell asleep in her car seat on the way home, and she's stayed asleep. So I'm going to have to wake her up pretty soon to make sure she eats something, and then we'll go to bed. Um, but I never had a chance to come and say goodnight, so sorry I was... <laughs> I'm sorry I was a little bit gloomy today. I, um... <laughs> I've, I've really been feeling a little bit bad about the whole situation with MCAL, but I don't want the situation to rob me of my joy. So tomorrow I will feel better. So I just wanted to make sure to say goodnight. Um, I usually go to sleep fairly early. I I usually go to sleep fairly early because I wake up extremely early and I like to take care of myself. <laughs> but since I don't have work tomorrow, I'm tempted to stay awake tonight if physically possible. I mentioned yesterday, but I have anemia and sometimes I feel really extra tired. Um, but if I'm able to stay up tonight, I think I will and just enjoy myself a little bit since I've mostly been editing this video for so long this evening. But anyway, thank you guys for your continued sweet comments and I'm going to spend some time tomorrow replying to the ones I haven't yet. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in once again. I will see you tomorrow. It's been, I've been recording for a full week now, so... I feel like we're going strong. We're going to keep going. Um, and if if I'm keeping you company while you are you are knitting or perhaps having your morning coffee or if you're on a lunch break or something, then I hope I've been good company. Okay, good night. Bye.